What's up everybody? My name is Tentacole and welcome to this video. Last month I made an analysis video over the new Splatoon 3 trailer and oh boy did it blow up. I just want to take this time to say thanks because that is now my best performing video on my channel. I hope I can continue to make high performing videos like that in the future. But that's not why I made this video. I've been trying to figure out what other types of Splatoon 3 videos I could make, and I recently thought of a brilliant one. We already know there's gonna be some type of bow and arrow weapon in Splatoon 3, judging by the scenes that we saw in the trailer. But what else could there be? Here are my five most wanted new weapons for Splatoon 3. These are purely hypothetical, they don't include sub and special weapons, and they're in no particular order. Weapon number one, an ink sword. I know we already have the ink brush and octo brush, which kinda behave like swords, but I wanted to take that idea one step further. What if there were an entirely new weapon class based on swords? You could probably call it something like the Splat Blade. The way I see it, a blade class weapon could basically be a brush that you could directionally influence. Kinda like the controls for The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. You could swing the sword up, down, or to either side, and swinging it down could create a longer ink trail like a vertical roller swing. Perhaps the sword could be more powerful at close range as well. Weapon number two, a shooter that behaves like a shotgun. This idea is much more simple than my ink sword idea. What if we took Umbrella and just removed the shield entirely? The Brella weapons focus on a mix of both offense and defense, so I thought it would be cool to essentially create an entirely offensive Brella. I imagine it would have the attack speed and power of the Tenta Brella, and the range of the Splat Brella to prevent it from being too OP. But I guess we'll just have to see if Nintendo actually adds a shotgun weapon to Splatoon 3. Weapon number three, an ink thrower. I unfortunately couldn't think of a good name for this one, but to put it simply, it's like a flamethrower that shoots ink. I can see one of two ways this idea could work. You could make it like a mini stingray and have it be really powerful but also unwieldy, or you could make a weapon with the fire rate of an arrow spray and the shot spread of a splatling. Maybe that idea seems a little too OP, but I think a weapon based on a flamethrower would be a perfect fit for the chaotic nature of Splatoon 3. Weapon number four, a shield-based weapon. So many Splatoon weapons are based on offense. What if Splatoon 3 had a weapon that was purely defensive? I know other shooter games have used shields as weapons, but I wanted to see if I could put a Splatoon spin on this. You could hold ZR to keep the shield in front of you and move, or you could use it to charge forward for a short time. And obviously it would be much harder to protect your back than your front with this. You know, the more I think about this ink shield idea, it 
kind of reminds me of Reinhardt from Overwatch. But seriously, I think a defense-based main weapon would be a nice alternative to what the Splatoon series already has. And my final weapon idea for this video is... a grenade launcher. No, not a bomb launcher. That already exists. Hear me out. We could have, in essence, a cross between the Blob Blobber and the Clash Blaster. It could be a shooter that launches bouncing blaster shots. Of course, each shot would have to be super weak to keep it from being busted, and it would have a low attack speed. But when I was trying to think of how a grenade launcher would work in Splatoon 3, I thought it would be cool to make it a merging of those two weapons. And just like the flamethrower idea, this would be a perfect fit for the overall vibe of Splatoon 3. So, these are my top 5 new weapons that I think would be great for Splatoon 3. As cool as it would be to see any of these come true, we are still a long ways away from the release of the game. I just thought it would be fun to see if I could craft some new weapon ideas and ramble about them for a while. Anyway, thanks for watching. Until next time, this is Tentacole signing out. Take care, everybody.